Hey everyone, welcome back. So, up to this time, whenever I want to download media files, especially videos from any website, uh, Twitter or YouTube or any other website which has a video file. So, when I want to download it, I basically will copy the link from uh, you know, whatever site it is. Uh, right now it is Twitter. So, I will copy the link link and I have a script so this script uh, let me zoom it so this script uh, takes the URL as the argument so once I give it the URL it will uh, open up the link in my browser so basically that is done by using the YouTube DL so it is tedious so over the time I thought okay I have to copy the link I have to t open Turnix and then uh, paste the link and so on that itself you know while you use repeat things over time you will get bored so the script uh, which does this is this so let me create the screen first so it will first open the the link with uh, youtube dl and then call uh, termx open with the result of the YouTube DL. So if you don't know, YouTube DL has an option called get URL. So it will get you the source link of the video file. So basically you can download or even view directly with that link from the YouTube DL get URL. So I've made uh, use of that. So uh, the rest will get the source link and the Termex open is um, a script which will open up uh, the URL with whatever app we need we can specify our own app so it will show you uh, with which app you want to open this URL with so you can choose that so I've uh, remembered brave browser by default basically I want to download all the media files um, that's the only need of getting the URL most of the time so that's why I choose that but you can of course choose to have an external media player or it, it's up to you and then recently I found another way to ease uh, this process. So basically, if I share this URL with Termex, so tap on more and then open it with Termex, then it's going to do the same thing. But this time around, we don't have to paste the URL. We don't have to copy the URL. We just have to share the URL with the Termex. So this is done by using the Termex URL opener script. So this script is a specification in within the Termex application. What do you have to do for this? Um, I have a directory in my home folder called bin. So inside the bin, I have a script called Termex URL opener. So you have to exactly name it has Termex URL opener. So basically the use of this script is, this script, as I said, is a specification within the Termex. So this provides one single option. So whenever we share a URL with Termex, it gets the URL as the first parameter, okay? So that means you can create any, any script and then the Termex will get the URL as the first parameter. So you can do anything with the URL, basically anything. So right now I want to download media files from with YouTube DL. So possibly you can do anything with a URL. So a few things that you have to note is you have to make this uh, Termex script executable. So I hope you know that ch mode plus x and then the Termex script. As I said again and again, you have to spell the Termix URL opener as it is, as this. Don't misspell it, uh, else it won't work. And then the second thing you have to do is go ahead and tap on the permission of uh, Termix. Uh, it won't auto rotate, I guess. Okay, it won't rotate. Uh, so go ahead, go ahead and uh, go into the other permissions and then check these two things display pop-up window and then display pop-up while running in the background check these two things and then you're good to go so this is how what you have to do for making this option available uh, 
like in this future i don't i don't i don't call this a future but uh yeah so it's a, it's a it's a wrap around termics because any apps can accept a url but in order to say that you have to do this thing when you get a url that is what we are saying with termics url or open app script so i hope you find this helpful and uh, do something useful with this uh, so I'll catch you guys in the next video